Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another sound design lesson in Logic Pro X. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and begin by uh, getting our instrument uh, set up. So we're gonna go to our instrument rack and this time we're gonna go ahead and select our sculpture. It's a modeling synth. We're gonna go ahead and select stereo. Cool. And this is what it looks like. Now we're gonna to go to one of our tutorial settings, the very first one, the default sound. And we're gonna hear what it sounds like. So it sounds nice, it has a very clean and simple sound, but we're gonna go ahead and learn how to make a very cool uh, bell sound uh, just using our default setting. So uh, with a little bit of sound design skills, you guys are gonna be able to make some really cool sounding bells. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go over to our object number one and go to where it says impulse and select that. We're gonna go ahead and select strike. Cool, let's hear what it sounds like. So we're not gonna to notice too big of a difference, uh, not until we start playing around a little bit more with these parameters right here. Next, where we're gonna to wanna to go is to our material. And again, we have this like another uh, X, Y pad looking thing. And you can see uh, these different uh, changes going on with the numbers in regards to like, uh, I guess, how how much steel sound there is and how much glass there is. In this case, we're gonna wanna go ahead and grab this ball and put it somewhere towards the center on the bottom, around 50 or actually uh, 0.50 right there. So zero uh, and 0 0.50. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like now. So now it's starting to sound a little bit more like a bell. Cool. So next what we're gonna to wanna to do is change our pickup situation. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our A. If you could see this uh, closely, you'll see that that's an uh, A. Uh, this is our A pickup, and we're gonna move this somewhere around uh, 48%, or actually uh, 0.48. Actually, let me move that again. 0.48, awesome. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, one right here on pickup A and move this to around 10. Cool. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like now. So even more bell-like. Next, what we're going to want to do is go over here to our wave shaper and go to media loss and bring that all the way down. Okay, cool. And as you notice, we're getting a lot more sustain with this bell. Next, we're going to bring our re resolution all the way up here on our wave shaper and hear the sound again. Sounding a little bit clearer and cleaner. Awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, we're pretty much done here. All we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of delay. Let's go ahead and move our wet level a little bit higher to around 60, 70% around there. And if you could see very closely under our delay time, we have a little sync button. Let's go ahead and select that. And that's how you make a bell sound using sculpture and a little bit of sound design in Logic Pro X. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you guys did, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. You guys could always like the video and subscribe. And if you want to learn a little bit more about our school, check out www.recordingconnection.com. I'm Eddie Martinez, and of course I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.